Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. We are at NVIDIA's GTC GPU Technology Conference and we're here looking at one of the demos that's actually pretty neat. This is of the Drive PX system. This was kind of, it was shown for the first time, I think at uh, CES think as part of the Tegra X1 Absolutely. release. So uh, they're actually going to demonstrate part of their self-parking system that they have up and running here. So let's, what do they got going on? Really simple demo. This is actually the parking lot at NVIDIA. And on this monitor, what you're looking at is a uh, an Unreal simulation. So this is like a game, only it's a game where we're simulating our garage. And the idea is we're actually taking the cameras, which are simulated cameras, off of that car, and we're using those cameras as input into our DrivePX system okay. with the automated parking software load. So, this is, so what we can do is we can play around with the simulation and then see if the DrivePX uh, uh, um, kind of auto parking stuff reacts correctly, right? So Curtis, so, let's so here we're just actually like just this is just you could just drive around yeah. in the parking lot if you want. Not a very exciting game, it's I guess. Not. But, it's a but fun for game. simulation, it's important. It's a fun game, right? And and Curtis has done a great job. So Curtis, do me a favor. Let's make it a little harder for our parking simulation. I want to use some cones. We'll reset the car. Yeah. So block off like the left half of the garage. Those are we're, we're, so Curtis is putting down uh, simulated cones that our car <laughs> should find and not go over. Okay. And then uh, let's also go down the way. So so we're going to look, we're, our car is probably going to go down this way, and I want you to reserve my parking spot, right? So go ahead and put some cones in my parking spot down there. Yeah, that's mine. Fully reserved at NVIDIA all the time, 24-7. <laughs> okay, and now, hopefully, we're going to run our simulation, reset the car, and the car should go back to the beginning, and then we're going to drive it in. Now, what's going to happen is the Drive PX is going to be controlling this car, okay? And the video feed's coming in over here. So, Curtis, let's explain what we're looking at here. Uh, sure. So what's happening here is, again, we're getting just the video streams from the front, back, left, and right cameras here. That's being sent over here. And on the Tegra chip, what we're able to do is actually receive that video. We're tracking 2D points in that video space. And from, that, uh, from those points, we're using something called structure from motion to come up with an idea of what the entire uh, parking garage looks like. So. so I can already see that it looked like it tried to go left there. It saw the cones that we can kind of see down there as well, and it changed directions then. Exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, can you show us the 3D view of the uh, Sure. So these are the 2D points. That, that becomes an input, and then it can actually reconcile what those points look like in the 3D space. And so here you're actually seeing the point clouds of the uh, cars themselves. And the colors are different cameras, is that right? That's exactly correct. So you're seeing the le those points derived from the left camera, the right camera, et cetera here. You can see it's, it's going around our cone right here. Um, <laughs> these 3D points also include things like the arrows on the, uh, on the ground. Uh, so these are kind of all of the points in the space from here we can come up with a map of what the actual obstacles are. And so this is very important. You can't do any kind of path planning without knowing what the obstacles are, what, what the structure of the, uh, of the environment. So we see that it, it, it avoided the parking spot that was reserved for Tom, apparently, but it properly found the one next to it. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And so uh, now you're done with uh, dinner, with work. You can actually tell your, park, your car to come on back to you. So here we've said unpark, and so it's going to find its way back. We have a, we have a wireless app that you can access this demo with, so you that can kind of correct. pretend on your iPhone. <laughs> but we can't get, we can't get you know, wireless set up in, the, in GTC. I yeah. See. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Curtis, when, it, when it's doing this come returning back to you, is it actually relearning as it goes, or is it using the learned data that it got when it got to the parking spot? That's a good question. Um, in this case, because it's, it's you know, uh, so close temporally, it, it still has this point cloud, but it, it's important to, to notice that uh, when we first told the car to park, it knew nothing about the parking space. It has no, it, it, right, there's no GPS, no radar. The only input to this system is the video and the fact that it knows how fast the car is going. And so from that, it can derive the point cloud of the space around it. And when, would, when do you think we'll see this in a real car? Um, to be honest, I'm... We I, don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I How about next week? Can we do next week? week? You know what? We could take your, your Corvette and, and soup it up. What do you think? <laughs> uh, as long as it works as well as the demo worked, I think that's maybe okay. You know, I saw, I saw something similar to this where a guy like went to dinner, hit the button, and the car went off, and all the way up through a multi-level parking structure. Does, does our go up? Um, it will, for oh, sure. Uh, so cool. th this is kind of the first uh, time that we've put, put these technologies together. So this uh, is the simulation is great because that allows us to uh, try different uh, configurations very easily. You know? So any, any parking garage that you can build in Unreal, yeah. you can basically put in through the simulation. Well, exactly. They have in a castle. 
Sounds less yeah, useful, yeah. but you could do that, sure. Yeah, but Jensen doesn't give us Ferraris to bang together in our testing, so this lets us, exactly, this lets us, you know, uh, experiment with different idea. configurations yeah. in a in a simple way, and yeah, they have a very robust tool chain. There's no reason that we couldn't be doing highways and, you know, downtown areas That's and so on using cool. the same uh, simulation scenario. Synergy. Very cool, very cool. Thanks, Curtis. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks, Thank Tom. You. you got it, brother. Talk to you later. See ya. Peace out.